for Ronaldo Abersali, a good day is one that he can spend surfing. Whenever he can, he's out on the waves, making the most of the wind that builds up in Jeffreys Bay on South Africa's eastern coast. And the 15-year-old has one big dream. I want to be a pro surfer and I want to compete more in the, um, the world. And I'm still in school and I want to be study with pro surfer. The chances of this happening are extremely good as a wind farm that's opening up very soon is supporting local surfing talent. Investors and surfers alike are drawn to the area because the wind here hardly ever stops blowing. Once a sleepy fishing village, Jeffreys Bay is now a thriving town with surfers coming from all over the world. One of South Africa's first and biggest wind farms is opening up in a few weeks. 60 wind turbines have been erected here. With a capacity of 138 megawatts, some 100,000 households can be supplied with clean, renewable energy. Project manager Leon Quinn has been working hard. This area of Jeffreys Bay has some exceptional wind resources, as you can see today. Uh, in addition to that, um, very important for projects like this is uh, to be close to electrical infrastructure. So on this project site, we have uh, two uh, national distribution lines that we're able to plug into. Quinn needs a while to get from one end of the wind farm to the other. The site spans several thousand hectares. And South Africa has much more space. Thus, plenty of potential for renewable energies. The country aims to install 20,000 megawatts of renewable energy until 2030, at a cost of some 10 billion euros. And the state guarantees to purchase the produced power. What's key is a mechanism for which IPPs or independent power producers like ourselves are able to make an investment, build the plant and have uh, the steady stream of, of cash flows. South Africa, the, the process in place at the moment uh, means that we sign up to a 20-year power purchase agreement where we pay or we sell the electricity to the government at a, at a fixed price. South Africa is a rapidly growing market when it comes to renewables. Good for foreign firms, such as Siemens. The German giant supplied the turbines for the wind farm in Jeffreys Bay, a 140 million euro project. It's also good for the community. 300 locals got construction jobs thanks to the wind farm. A share of its profits will go to education projects. Plenty of reason for Ronaldo's friends and family to celebrate. Right now, they're focused on the Junior Surfing Championships in Ecuador. Their hearts are set on Jose Faulkner, a local champion from Jeffreys Bay, who was sponsored by the wind farm. His mother is holding her breath. I'm very proud of Jose. Um, I thank the Lord for what he did for Jose. Without the Lord, we get, Jose can't achieve what he achieved. And if we, we can't, we don't, don't win, we still achieve something. And he's an inspiration for the next generation. Etienne Venter, who trained him, is grateful for the support. The wind farm, it's amazing. That's, they're giving what we need the most, money and support. Because without that, for these kids, this expense, very, very expensive sport. You've got your boards are expensive, traveling is expensive. All this is a very, very expensive sport. And unfortunately for them, they, they have less, they, their parents just don't have the ability to support them. So with like companies like the Wind Farm coming and supporting them, it's really going to take it to the next level. And the next level is where Ronaldo is heading. In the meantime, he's practicing and riding as many waves as possible to make sure his dream comes true.